guys, I'm Chess Prime, and welcome to the first gameplay part of my Sims 4 uh, The Occult Baby Challenge. If you're wondering what that rule is, who this sim is, what this house is, make sure you go check out my intro video for this series. There should be a, a playlist of that will have the intro video in it, and it explains all that. Of course, the rules and stuff are always down below. But, um, let's just jump right into this gameplay part, why don't we? As I'm excited to get started. So, before I go get her pregnant, because I think we are going to go to the new bar in the werewolf world, because the cult sims tend to gather around there, and the whole point of the challenge is to have babies with the cult sims. We're going to talk to Patchy, because we do eventually have to have a baby with Patchy, and we have to build a relationship with him to get and hopefully I can get like seeds from him um but once we eat we have to get a relationship with him to make him come alive and he'll keep care of our plants too so that's the bonus so, so all we'll have to do is harvest them and we have more time to, for other things to earn money because you can't have a job in this series so you have to do stuff to earn money We'll tell Harvey Choke a couple of times. And now she's scared. Go figure. How long is she going to be scared? Two hours. Boo. I want you to be scared for two hours. Uh. Hey, small talk. He was. No, I. Should we examine it again? I'm scared she'll. He'll get re scared. I don't know if he'll do it more than once, though. Let's see. Um, discuss the birds. Tell a harvest joke. How much of a relationship we have? With them? We're almost there. We're almost there. Once we'll just get a little notification here that'll tell us that we've. Okay, there we go. We got the notification. So let's ask for gardening tips, get some gardening ability, and then check seeds for, or pockets for seeds. See if we can get some stuff to plant real quick. Come on, give us something. What? Oh yeah, what do we get? We got a snowdrop. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and buy starter fruits as well. I guess flowers and fruits wouldn't be a bad combo. So it's um which is the fruit. Starter fruits. Here we go. Right here. We only have two planter boxes. And uh, one day I would like to expand but for now we're going to open these. Okay we got six plantains. So I guess we're planting a plantain. When you do plant a tree in the planter box, though, you can only plant that in the planter box. So that's really annoying. Um, but I think the snowdrops are worth... Oh, no, the grapes are actually worth more. Okay, so we'll do two grapes and two snowdrops. Um, let's see. And then we can actually sell the rest to make a little bit money back. Like $28. Um, yeah, that almost put us back to 3,000. Okay, let's, uh, plant. Come plant these. Before we go get you pregnant, please. Oh, let's get a little picture of her doing some gardening. How cute is that? Alright, but, um... I think she's going to have to water them too. And I think that's all she'll have to do because Patchy will pretty much take care of the rest. Patchy will probably be the second person we have a baby with. Because um, you do have to have a baby with Patchy. But first I want to have it with the actual occult sim and get started on having the occult babies. Alright. Let's fast forward this a little bit. It is getting a little bit repetitive. And she, all right, good. The scared movement went away. I wanted it to go away before we went to the bar. 
Um, all right. Come water these plants, please. And thank you. And we are level two of gardening. Alexandra is re can research gardening at computer research individual plants to unlock information in the notebook and water plants in a nearby area. Fantastic. Let's get a move on. All right, we are here and automatically some wolves are here, but also an alien? P.E. Mrine? You know, there's always gonna be a lot of werewolves around here, but I don't think there's always gonna be a lot of aliens. So I may go after the alien first. Let's do a uh, funny introduction, maybe? Beastly presence, yeah, she's kind of and weary of the werewolves. Maybe she'd be more comfortable with the alien. He is tense though. So that's not good. That's not good. Let's see. I want to... How about we... Tell an outrageous story. Oh good, he's fine now. He's no longer tense. Um, and enthused about gardening. Oh, uh, why is he yelling at us? He's acting like he's so tense. Or is he just always supposed to... Is that just how he was made? Where he was... be super angry all the time? Alright, but, um, I'm not against using the camera to gain some relationships here. Because we're just trying to get a baby out of him. So, uh... I'm going to take a couple photos here, just two, just two, enough to boost up our friendship to where we could possibly flirt with them. Oh no! We are just like, what's, what happened? Well, we're taking pictures of him anyways. Maybe he's just really hard to get along with, but I feel like aliens are going to be harder to find than other cults. All right. Uh, okay, good. It didn't glitch out. He is kind of ugly, though. <laughs> no offense to him. Like, I feel like our first shot oh, is going to be really ugly. But you know what? It's all about cleaning the rules. Okay. Let's try to do something friendly with him now and see if he likes it. Let's um ask about his day. And then maybe we can romance just casually if the options are ever going to come up. Why did it cancel out? Weird. Right. Romance. Let's just ask him if he's single. He's happy. I feel like this is a good sign. He's trying to run off. Which is really annoying. Let's uh, have a deep conversation. Um, he is single. Good to know. Um. Alright, hold on. Let's pause this. And let's see if we can, um, do a little pickup line. And then maybe flirt a little bit. Let's see, he's erratic. Okay, that explains it. <laughs> that explains a lot. But he took the flirtiness. He took the flirtiness. And he's flirty now. Maybe you can uh, blow him a kiss. And, uh... Kiss hands, maybe? Maybe? We don't have a flirty bar yet, so I don't know if this is too risky. Oh, there's another alien. I was like, this is going to be far hard to find another alien. And then out pops another alien. <laughs> oh, jeez. Aw, I gotta get the shot. This is cute. This is cute. Okay, they do have a flirty bar. So let's offer him a rose, maybe. I don't know if there's anywhere to woohoo around here, honestly. I didn't think that through. Uh, oh, he liked it! He liked it! Let's, um, 
compliment appearance. And oh, we can already do our first kiss. Are we gonna do our first kiss? Oh no, no, no! Why is he saying he doesn't like us? Oh no, the first kiss may be a bad idea. He likes everything else though. We gonna have our first kiss? Yes! We just had our first kiss. First kiss. Yeah, baby. Okay, um, sexy pose, perhaps? Look, I know you want to, uh, like, unload on me, but I just want to be flirty. Maybe let's cuddle up at the bonfire. Can we go do that? That would be great. I mean, I've been there this whole time. I haven't even explored or gotten a drink yet. <laughs> but, oh, okay. This would be a lot cuter if the fire was actually lit. But how cute is this picture? I know that that is adorable. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay, um, let's see. Do we have the option? Let's whisper seductively. Okay. Stop culling. It's cute and all, but I want to flirt. Let's see. Um, we can ask to be a boyfriend, which is not allowed. But we can embrace. Let's see. Do we have the option to woo? <gasps> yes, we have woohoo in the bush. I need try for baby in the bush. Try for baby in the bush. Try for baby in the bush. Alright, we're like, alright, we gonna do it? Yes. Alright. So let's I'm gonna do it twice because there's not I don't think it well, is there a toilet around here? Wait, I need to know. I need to know before I just randomly go home. Is that an outhouse? No, that's like an entertainment room. I thought you built an outhouse on here somewhere. Do you not? Oh, wait, is this it? There is a toilet. Okay, cool. We can chat to see if we're pregnant while we're here. We don't have to go home. So. But I still want to try twice. Just because I feel like I don't want to run all the way over there and have to run all the way back and risk him going home. It would just be super annoying. Where in the world is this bush? Yeah, I'm definitely not wanting to come back to this. It's all the way across the bridge. Are you freaking kidding me? James, why didn't you put a, a bush on the bar lot? That would have been so convenient. Where are we going? It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Alright, there. Finally. Finally, break out the candles and make it romantic. They are having their first woohoo. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, just, I love woohoos in this game. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the whole game. Which is probably bad. But, I don't know. I just, I find them so entertaining. Okay, we gotta get the perfect shot of them coming out of the bush. My favorite shot in the whole game. It has to happen. All right, baby, if I work. I promise that's not how I actually sing. I just sing that way on video. Promise. <laughs> All right, but it looks like her first woohoo was excellent. There. There we got the shot. Oh no, their eyes are closed. There we go. Oh yeah. Hey, and we want to try one more time. Oh, she really has to pee. Okay, uh. Just try for baby one more time. Yeah, you have time. Try for baby. And, uh. Then I'm going to teleport you back. To the place so you don't pee yourself, but you once you take the pregnancy test, uh, once you take the pregnancy test, your your bladder goes back up. 
I love that he's like all f flirty. Okay, let's fast forward this one. What? You're already done? What? No, you guys didn't even do it. Try for baby. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Is he like telepathically trying to get us pregnant? I'm so confused. And you're going to go to the other side of the bush to ask. You could have just asked right there. Hey, maybe I won't try to super fast forward that again because that seemed to make it glitch out. There we go. Wow, it's so much weirder watching it fast forward, but I kind of want to get it out of the way. Oh, thank God that it's only Agatha and not Agnes because she would be whooping our butt right now. Okay. Are you guys done? You really gotta pee now? So I gotta go find the lot again. There we go. Okay, bathroom. Let's uh, teleport here. Don't use the bush. Just come teleport. And take pregnancy test. Come on. You got this, girl. You got this. Is she going to be pregnant? Yes, no, maybe so. I know you really had to pee, but come on. If you're not pregnant, I'm going to be highly surprised. Honestly. <gasps> yes, she is eating for two, baby. Yep, eating for two. Fantastic. I love it. Okay, but she is... She is definitely hungry. She did not get a drink while she was here. So maybe I'll do that and just introduce myself to some Sims real quick. Um, of course, I, hey, um, let's see, is this, this is a supernatural, but I'm not sure. Is this a mermaid? I'm not sure. Let's, um, do a flirty introduction, um, and then order drink. We'll order her favorite drink. We don't know what her favorite drink is yet. Let's see what her favorite drink is. Alright, don't go tell him. Come back to the bar. <laughs> like, whoops. Oh, her belly's are even showing. No, that's cute. She already has a little belly. Aw. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have her drink. She's pregnant. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Okay, well, let's introduce ourselves to this guy. We don't really need another alien, so I don't really see a point in introducing ourselves to more aliens. You know, we probably could have got a better looking one, but I just went with the first one I saw because I was excited to get pregnant. Um, let's see, is there any other occult sims around here? Um, not seeing any. So I might just go ahead and go on home. Alright, we are back home, and let's check out her needs. She's hungry, and she kind of needs a shower. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and keep care of her hunger real quick. So let's cook, I'm thinking, a salad. How about some garden salad? It's your first time cooking. We'll do a family size. So we'll have some more, but we won't do eight, just in case, uh... You know, they're really poor quality because this is her first time cooking, which is why I'm doing a salad. Come on in, girl. Make your first salad. Let's see if she picks her ear. Because they tend to do that almost every time. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Come on. Cook that salad. Don't just stand there. I want to keep screenshot. There we go. She was like, I was just at the bar. Why couldn't I just got pre-made food? And now I just cut myself because you're making me cook. And I'm just like, we don't have money to spend on food that doesn't even is fully full. So I'm not going to do hygiene right away. Aw. Look at her start that salad. I do want her to get um, started on writing a book. Because we do need to make money, and a good way to make money is writing. And, uh, 
She, oh, yep, she picked her ear. What did I say? She picked her ear and put her hands right inside. Good thing it's only for her. It's only for her. She still has two trimesters to go after this one. Let's see, is it poor quality? Oh, it's actually normal quality. Cool. Okay, cool. We'll put that in the fridge. Um, let her eat her little salad she made herself. So She should be so proud. But right quick, I want to go ahead and... Let's see. Right. Right. Start drawing her book. Children's book. And we can drag this to the trash can. And we made 10 simoleons off that. Fantastic. And she is writing her first book. Um, what should this first book be? B. So I'm getting a little creepy and saying I will have you all as if she'll have every single type of baby there is. Um, and that's going to be her children's book. <laughs> Sounds a little weird, but um, also we should probably turn on auto lights. I know it only helps a little bit, but in this kind of challenge, every bit helps. So auto lights, all lights. There's not much to look at anyways, so... I just want to see her finish her first book. She has required the writing skill. Fantastic. She's going to be going to bed super late, but it doesn't really matter too much. Um, yeah, I definitely need to get some music in here. But she enjoys writing, so her her fun is staying all the way up. And after she's done, I'm going to have her take a shower. She's over halfway done. She's reached level 2 of the writing skill. Fantastic. We do have that lo lot trait that makes us gain skill faster in writing. Oh, I should probably sell the book to the publisher before I go shower, huh? What an achievement. She has finished a book. Fantastic. Oh, look at our little plants growing. How cute. Hey, okay, um, self-publish. I'll have you all. And then she's use and shower. Um, and she's getting hungry again. I'll probably wait till she gets up to eat, though. So let's just go ahead and go to sleep. She's on the road of fame. Yeah, whatever. Um, fast forward this. Come on. I'll probably be, I don't know how many days I will record two days in a row, but today I'm going to. Um, fast forward. And I'll probably meet y'all back when she wakes up. Because right now she's just going to bed. Alright, it's 8.02 in the morning and she is getting up bright and bushy-tailed. I will have her go ahead and go pee even though she doesn't fully need to yet because she's pregnant. And they always have to pee. Um, I think we're going to serve some fruit salad for breakfast. That would be nice. Does he do the plants need anything? No. And Patchy's not a little... Uh, Patchy hasn't come to life yet. I kind of want to stick around and see if Patchy comes to life. So maybe we can write another book. So it's uh, more... Tr well, I guess I'll let her eat first. Because if I just let select for her to make it and then not choose her to eat. Or have something set up right behind. A lot of times they'll skip eating. So we are making some fruit salad. That sounds so good right now. I could totally go for some fruit salad. We don't have, oh, I have peaches, but I don't really have anything else. So, you know. Pour that fruit salad. Yes, thank you. And I'll put the rest in the refrigerator for later. And then let's go ahead when you're done. More choices. Write, write genre book. And another children's book. We don't, we don't have the ability to write anything else right now. Do not clean up that plate. We throw that away for money. That's how the challenge works. Alright. So it's uh... Let's say... 
instead of tigers, I'm going to say werewolves. Um, because this is a cult challenge. So werewolves don't take naps. There we go. Even though werewolves can totally lay on the ground and take a nap anywhere if they have the right uh, thing selected. I don't know what that would be called. Power? Ability? I don't know. Let's fast forward this. Get some right now. We made four dollars off our book. Great. I it's slow at first, but I promise it works. Uh what? I heard there's someone famous over at the lounge. You wanna go check it out? I mean, do we? We could meet some other Sims while we're there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Um, I can come back and finish the book later. Alright, we are here at the Orchard, a go-go. Look -go. oh, how cute she looks in her little white and blue camo. Oh, she looks sad. <laughs> she looks, uh, rough. What is wrong, darling? Oh, she's... Nothing's wrong. She's just making a face. So, um, I came here to meet other people. What about you? Oh, you're a celebrity. What about you? Yeah, you're a spellcaster where you can't get me pregnant. Um, how about we come watch the TV? Let's, uh, watch current channel with this person until more people show up. She can't drink because she's pregnant, so she might as well just watch TV. Oh, who is this? Are they a cult sim? Are you a cult sim? I wish I knew. Oh, I don't think he's a cult sim. I've seen this sim before. Let's see. You can't get us pregnant. Yeah, she's like, I'm flirty, but there's no one I want to flirt with. Oh, that's the alien we're here with. Maybe we can right quick just dismiss the group. I don't really care too much about uh, hanging out with him. We've already had his baby. And granted, if it's not an alien, we'll have to try again. But I may just try for another alien if he doesn't get me pregnant. Let's see. That's paparazzi. Who are you? Are you? Oh, you're Eric Lewis. And you look familiar. Why aren't any occult sims showing up? Just like base games, and this is really boring. Let's see. Everyone's just watching TV. I wish she could drink. <laughs> I wish she could drink, but she can't. Let's see. Yeah, there's a uh, interesting people here. Oh wait, here's some more people show up. Um, can't get me pregnant. Can't get me pregnant. Why are they all girls? I put so many males in this world that could get me pregnant. Why are none of them showing up? Oh, who is this? Is this why I know it? Krill, you train. Let's see. What are you? Yeah, you definitely look like a cult sim. But what, are you a werewolf? Hold on, do I have the interaction? Let's do a friendly introduction to him, because he looks like he definitely would have been downloaded. I didn't think about not being able to tell from just looking at him what a cult they were when I downloaded my people, but they are flirty! So it could work! Um, more choices? Hey, I don't think he's a werewolf, because we don't have the werewolf's interactions. Or maybe yeah, it's because we're not a werewolf. Let's see, Brighton Day. Can we? Uh, I just want to go and craze him and see if he's a, a cult sim. I'm pretty sure he is, though. It's, uh. Well, first we'll ask if he's single. There's no point in checking if he's not single. Are you single? Oh, yes, he is single. Thank you very much. Um, but I'm thinking I'm just going to qu qu just do 
a quick little sneak in to Cass and see what kind of a cult sim he is. Oh, he's a merman! He's a merman! Yes, we are going after him. Exit creates him. Alright, we are back. And, uh, five hours to our second trimester. Oh, jeez. Okay, um, let's, uh, brighten the... Well, he, you know what? He's flirty. Right quick, let's take some pictures with him. I think that would be best. Take photo of... Krill and take photo with Krill. Come on. He's flirty. He's a merman. We have to. We have to. Oh, she's wearing her hot weather outfit. That's cute. Alright, come on. Let's take a photo with him. What is this? Oh, he's enthusiastic about writing. That's cute. But I want you to take photos before you stop being flirty. Pretty, please. Yeah, get that shot. I guess I could... He definitely does look like a merman now that I'm looking at him. I guess I should have been able to tell. But I just wanted to make for sure. Oh, look how cute they are. Look how cute they are. But, um, he's probably going to be our third baby daddy after Patchy. Let's, um, romance, perhaps? So, oh my god, pause. Why? I hate the fact that when you take photos, your game gets so glitchy. It's actually super annoying. Um, but let's ask if he's single... And, um, I'm pretty sure he is, so we are going to do a pickup line. Alright. Alright, let's see. Are you single? Yes, you are single and you are flirty. We have a good friendship. Let's, um, romance, uh, flirt. Uh, maybe we should, uh, compliment appearance. She doesn't have too much of a Christmas skill yet, so I don't want to be super. Let's, um, maybe blow a kiss. Not introduction to him. Come on. Let's, uh, flirt. Hey, we have a flirty bar. That's good. Let's offer Rose. Um. Uh, kiss hands. I'm scared to exchange numbers. Um. Flirt. Uh, we can do our first kiss. Let's see. How much? Three hours to our second trimester. Oh, look at him. Look at him. This is one for the books. Okay. All right. Basically, I just want to get him to where I need him. Which, if they ha have their first successful kiss. Yes. Okay. We have him. We have him. All right. Let's put them in our pocket and store them for later and go ahead and go on back home because I want to finish that book real quick. Alright, we are back home. Patchy is still not alive yet. Do we need to water these? No, they're good. Alright, let's go ahead and write. Resume writing. Werewolves don't take naps. There we go. Where is she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> she was just out of my view. Alright, so let's just sort this a little bit. Because it's not too entertaining to watch her write. But we need to get another book. Because four simoleons a day is not going to help us pay bills. I did not start with the tiny home because I wanted to have an enough room to expand on. So, of course, Patchy isn't awake yet. Um, 
Yeah. Just kind of waiting for him to come alive so we can chat him up, you know? The, the, the garden doesn't need anything yet, so I don't know if he'll come alive if the garden doesn't need anything. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm, I'm maybe thinking about leaving it alone, but sometimes I don't want my plants to die. So, you know. Ooh, it's like trimester in 35 seconds. Oh my god. Leave us alone, Prim. You're obsessed with us. Stop being obsessed with us. Oh, she has to pee. Okay, I'll have her come do that after she writes. <laughs> if she can last till then. She's al also almost about to, to level up her writing skill, too. Which is fantastic, because I think we'll be able to write different types of books. Which will be really nice. Yep, writing school level 3. Alexandra Chan now writes short stories. Hey, I was reading that. Um, writes excuse notes for other sims. She can also read nonfiction books, reference, and discuss favorite book authors with other sims. Alright. Oh, man, she really has to pee. Oh, um, man, can you finish this book? You're so close. You're so close. Just finish the book. Don't have a flyer failure. I know you're pregnant. You're so close. You have like a fifth left. And no, she's canceling to go pee. She's canceling to go pee. <laughs> I guess that's fine. But get right back to it. Uh, write, resume writing. Wh werewolf. So I hope it doesn't start all over again. <laughs> I wish you can just finish it right off hand. Alright, fast forward this again. Come on, out of the bathroom, into the chair. Alright. Okay, good. It's gonna pick up right where she left off. Let's see. Did our computer just break? Oh no, okay. She wrote a book. Let's go ahead and come sell it. What is he doing here? Um. Okay, I guess you can hang out. I guess. You're not flirting with anyone else. So, I guess we can invite in. But she's in her second trimester, right? Yep, second trimester! Let's get a picture of her with that baby bump! Yes! Work it, girl. Work that baby bump. But, um, yeah, let's publish that real quick and come talk to him. I guess he just couldn't get enough of us. He had to follow us home, too. Let's, um, invite to feel the baby and the baby dies calling. Oh, he's asking for someone else. He knows we're keeping it casual. Okay, that's good. It says, hey, Alexandria, I think I have a crush on Caliente... Uh, Katrina Caliente, do you think it's worth a try? Yes, go for it. Because we are flirting with other people. You should be too. <laughs> We're not official. Go have your way. Why are you going back outside? Let's see. Yeah, let's feel the baby. Feel like yours is going to be in here soon. Let's get that picture. First baby on the way, baby. Baby. Yeah. Alright. But, um. Hey, that's cute and all. Thanks for showing up, but we're really hungry. So you could just, like, let us get some garden salad and then pee in peace. That would be fantastic. <laughs> um, I'll probably go ahead and send her to bed afterwards, too. Uh, sleep. So can you go home? Can you go home? Unfortunately, Patchy didn't, uh, show up. But I get a feeling he'll, he'll show up, uh, more when the, the gardening actually needs watering. So, um, I'll probably end the episode here, guys. I will be back with you in the morning when she wakes up. Um, it is 21 hours till her third trimester. And I'm super excited. Do not clean up that bowl. Do not clean up that bowl. We are going to sell it. 
That'll be the last thing we do this episode. Sell it for ten dollars. So in the first episode, we lost about eight million. So we started with three thousand and three, and now we have two hundred and ninety-five. But we did plant plants and make food, and that's all important. So, but anyway, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff with you guys. We're awesome people. I'll see you next time. Alright, 